intensive blends. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's another fucking episode of Raw Impressions. Welcome. Welcome to Lou and Adele's place. <laughs> and what a place. Warm, cozy, <laughs> humid. It's humid right now. And somebody's sweating it in that special way. <laughs> Isn't that right, Lou? <laughs> you should be in jail. <laughs> you should be. Jail? <laughs> oh, hello, Adam. Mm. I just want, you know, as we are in this humid time, I want to remind you that I am. I am your unicorn. <laughs> I'm simply waiting. I'm simply waiting. Anyway. <laughs> Carry on. Raw impressions. Who says I'm unicorn hunting? But thank you for the offer. <laughs> Poor track man. <laughs> um, you know, that's... Uh, I'm currently satisfied. It's not the craziest thing he said. It's true. He said some things. He said some things. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> it is hot. It is humid. It's getting a little wild around here. Ah, hello. Hello. Hi. My name is Lou Barlow. And I'm Adele Barlow. Yeah. And uh, welcome to Raw. Our free form. Impressions. Impressions. Impressionistic podcast. Raw impressionistic podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like a Monet. This is like the Monet of podcasts. Yeah. It looks, bl it's blurry. It's blurry from a distance. It's blurry. It's kind of like you're not wearing your glasses. But then when you get close, the magic happens. Wait, or is it the opposite with impressionistic? It's blurry up close and then better far away. Well, if you like blobs of paint, it's great up close. <laughs> if you want to know what it's uh, like to be nearsighted, mm -hmm. it's amazing. It's like this is what this is what a, a public park looked like in uh, 1865. Boy, I'm I can't believe I'm throwing out a date and talking about Monet. Why did I do that? They're I don't like, know. I don't know when. Any he art painted. historians I listening? I have no <laughs> idea when he painted or why would I do that? It's this humidity, I guess. It just got to <sighs> your head next to you. know he's a docent here. It's anyway, like... you get to find out what it was like to be nearsighted <laughs> in, in, in Monet's age. He's like, oh, You're getting so funny, just... aren't you? You're just funny. Oh my goodness. I love a good Monet and a good Manet. <laughs> a good man, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah. What a man! What a man! What a mighty good man! Am I a good man? We we saw we saw in Vogue the other day. Yeah, Tanglewood. Oh, yeah. I want to keep saying Long Beach Tanglewood, but that's not it. You know, obviously that's not what it is. Is that a reference to something? <laughs> yes, Long Beach Inglewood. It's Inglewood. from a rap song. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Well, we had... I think it's from The Chronic. <laughs> anyway. Um, man, we, we went to see En Vogue, and yes. they, they did What a Man. Well, they Actually, that's actually... It's meant to be... It's a it's a TLC song. It's a, it, it was like... What? Wasn't it? Oh, not TLC. Oh, my God! Wow. What the fuck is happening? What's happening? Oof. Salt and Peppa. Salt and Peppa and En Vogue did a collab... <laughs> <laughs> they did a it is getting on here. They did a collab. What a man! Uh, Salt and Pepper did the rapping for the verses. And, salt and, and Pepper. Salt really and Pepper. Pe I don't think it's Salt and Pepper. I, salt and Pepper. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> push it. Push it. White people. Push it. Talking real about good. Mmm. <laughs> salt and pep push it. Pepper. Man, I Peppa. used to love that song yeah, so, so much. So En Vogue did the choruses. But I mean, I, don't, yeah, I didn't used to love it. I still love it. They played it the other They're day. They're amazing. They played it, but Salt they, they, they kind of sang the rap. They sang the rap in it, which I thought was kind of cool. Yeah. But and, um, I yeah, wondered. En Vogue I, sounded a may, may They really won me over. They, I mean. They won me over. No complaints. No really. complaints. 
And then I we went and Cool and the Gang played. We had to leave because yep. there was a tornado. We, but yeah. tornado watch. Right. I was going to say settle down. You don't. Tornado watches are not like a t- tornado warning. Right. That's the bad thing. Yeah. Tornado watch is just. It's like, hey, anyway. we're pretending some crazy weather's happening. So, um, I got pretty excited about like Earth, Wind, and Fire, and the Commodores, and. Yeah. Cooling the gang just kind of set a fire in my head. It did. It was great. I'm kind of like... Heat. Yeah. I'm hearing uh, the word from oh. across the nation. So it kind of informed Please what you're about to hear. Oh. Lucky for us, I've done another one. And here it comes. Gee, what could it be? <laughs> oh, Yes! Yes! Woo! She's got parents. I wish I could have an organic experience. You've never had one? I love herbal essences. But I need intense conditioning. Honey, meet your new best friends. New herbal essences, intensive blends. Creamier, vitamin enriched. Improves hair's condition up to 85%. It's her first time. Herbal Essences Intensive Blends. Guys, the bottle says repeat. Oh, yes! Yes! Woo! She's got the urge. I wish I could have an organic experience. You've never had one? I love Herbal Essences, but I need intense conditioning. Honey, meet your new best friends. New Herbal Essences Intensive Blends. Creamier, vitamin enriched. Improves hair's condition up to 85%. It's her first time. New Herbal Essences Intensive Blends. Guys, the bottle says repeat. Oh, yes! Yes! She's Woo! got the urge. You did, you did a really good job with this one. <laughs> I think... I can't believe that you, you Hollywood, came in. I Hollywood, Hollywood, I'm available. <laughs> I thought I was the master recreator around here. I did. But you really wanted to do this one. I would like to clarify Hollywood, not um, just north of Hollywood. Uh, there's, a, there's another place called The Valley. It's just like north of Hollywood. I'm available for hire for commercial recreations. Not the other work that's just a little bit further north. Anyway. <laughs> in Chatsworth? Some people may know what I'm talking about. Get in the car, honey. We're going to Chatsworth. <laughs> it's very hot there. Very, very hot. Some, um, something's got to pay for this roof. <laughs> Let's go to Chatsworth. Uh, uh yeah. So, <laughs> well, um, well can, I, can I just say... To I finish just, telling your story, though, about um, Earth, Wind, and Fire. Well, I, when I was doing this... I, so anyway, we we you wanted to do this commercial a while ago. You well, were like, I think we came up with. Well, I got re reminded about herbal essences because my parents came to stay with us in May, mm-hmm. and my mom has been a pretty dedicated herbal essence follower. Follower, you know her Fan. hair. Her hair. Her hair is is loyal to herbal essences since. I lived with them so for you know a very long time folks and uh, I thought I gotta go buy some herbal essence because I gotta have you my did. mom shampoo That's and conditioner so here That's so cute when her mom comes to visit she gets everything her mom likes or you yeah, try to I try to I try, try to, to recreate really, really set you know, it up. their home That's pretty. you do and <laughs> I literally That's try so to cute. Try, try to recreate it and um <laughs> Yeah, and so I had to get some herbal essences, and I was just we were we've been thinking about like funny ads to recreate, and what would like be fun for us also to recreate something that was like an actual part of our life, like not just a suggestion from someone that we can't really relate to. But well, I've been I've been sticking to just the commercials that I remember when I was a kid. This is yeah. the first. This is my first step outside of the ones that I remember. I of course. It's very memorable when you see it again. I'm like, oh, of course, herbal essences. Right. This torture, this tortured me. It to- oh, it did because it's so sexy. It's so sexual. Yeah. That commercial, I was like, Ugh. I it's mean, that wild. used to that would when I was a kid, that was like, Ugh. it was like porn on TV. It was the closest thing I could get to it. Yeah. And it would, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Just, I gotta go. <laughs> just add that, add that dimension. I gotta go sneak away. <laughs> just saw that Herbal Essence commercial again. Just another dimension of my adolescent frustrations. Uh, well, I just remember that commercial, but like I didn't have the same reaction as you. I just, I always remembered thinking, and I've talked about this before on the podcast, how I'm I'm a person who's very literal. I can be very literal. And I would see that commercial, and there was another one, I think with Christy Brinkley, that maybe wasn't Herbal Essence, but some other thing. Maybe it was Pantene. I just literally thought I was going to have the hair that they were advertising. I was 100% on board. I'm like, oh, silky, shiny, with bounce. Like, 85%. 85%. You you see improvement of eighty five percent hair condition exactly to me. Your I was hair like, condition will improve by eighty five. How do they quantify that? That was like that's their truth, and How do I they believe quantify it. That I, I mean, it's not it's not like they do. I don't. conditions eighty five percent more. It says it improves hair conditions by eighty five by up to eighty five percent. I hair conditions. I don't know. How do you even make those claims? I don't know. It would be like you, you know, hair in the morning, conditions, like, yeah. Oh, my hair conditions are improving today. <laughs> my hair conditions are better. It's like the weather. Because isn't hair dead? Like once it's actually left the head, is it just hanging on our head, but it's not actually alive? I am not going to hazard any scientific guesses. Well, you've already, you're already thrown well, out. Well, it doesn't hurt when you cut your hair. Right. So that's a, that might mean something. Yeah. It doesn't hurt when they cut your hair. If it did. It would, that would suck. It would totally suck. Oh my gosh. None of us would have haircuts. It'd be the opposite of the herbal organics experience. Oh, so then anyway, I was telling you about that commercial. I'm like, hey, but do you remember the herbal essence commercial? And so then we rewatched it and Mm. we were like, dear God, this Mm. is wild. This and, is literally and you were like, right away. Like I'm, I want to do this. I was like, we got to do this. I'm like, wow, you're gonna st- you're gonna step into my layer, my recreation. I gotta channel layer. my Meg Ryan orgasm scene from when Harry met Sally. You know, and that's like her legendary scene. Can I say what you did today? Yes, is way better than that. Ah. Oh. Way better. I don't know if I'd go that far. It's a pretty classic scene. And not scene, just because I, have, I, I do not see Meg Ryan as a sexual being in any way in her film. She seems... she. I've never responded to Meg Ryan. I, I consider I do like her, her adorable. Acting. She's she adorable. adorable. She's a great actress. Right? I enjoy her work. Yeah. I'm just saying she doesn't give me that. She's like an adorable little mouse that you keep in your pocket. Yeah, there's no she's humidity. Like, she's so cute. No humidity between uh. Meg... Meg and I are okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Who knows? And maybe in person, right? Yeah, maybe in person. If I met Meg Ryan, uh huh. Yeah, you might be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, but I get you. No, I understand. I understand. Yeah, but you're saying I brought the humidity. <laughs> what you did stay this. I mean, really, this Thanks, was like kind dear. of the first. It was like it was a it was voiceover work. Like I said, I'm available, Hollywood. And I and I did coach you a little bit in the beginning. You did. You did. really because um, you weren't, to be honest, at the outset, at the beginning of the session. Mm-hmm. I was a little bit like, okay, maybe I'm going to have to adjust my expectations for this recreation. Okay. Because um, you know, not everybody can inhabit a commercial. Mm. Or inhabit like a voiceover. And even I, I, I'm not the best at it. I love to do it. It's mm. a deep love of mine. And I really, really wish <laughs> somebody fucking hired me. Look, just give me $75,000 and I'll make you a commercial. And now I got an, I got someone else on board right here. Yeah, so we can, we'll just take one fee. 75,000 We have mail and commercial. Female. I Great. don't have to I don't have Done. to fuck around with the the pitch of the <laughs> tape. I don't have to put my voice through like a like a special box, my special box to make myself sound like a woman. Mm-hmm. I've got the woman. Right here. You're the woman. Aww. You're the voice and you're, <laughs> you're fucking talented at it. You inhabited these characters. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. So Forget about Chatsworth. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to Hollywood, honey. Amazing. Hollywood. Amazing.
Gang. Hollywood. Or down in New York. They've got plenty of commercial What's studios that song in New York. Cool in the gang? Hollywood's weird. Let's just go right to, what is it, Rockefeller play NBC. That building is... True, we'll go down that to... That building is sure. full of, like, studios where they make things that sound microphone special professional this will be like our audition tape the herbal essence commercial <laughs> my life is an audition tape at this point oh this podcast this podcast is like a very very long resume for you all the work you know what what i don't think anybody knows yet oh i need them to know mm. i want to be used <laughs> I want it to be used. Listeners, can you please share? Um, if you listen to Raw Impressions and you Bly, appreciate Bly. what we do, please share this podcast with your friends, with your loved ones. Share this with your influential. Share this with your influential. With your influential um, people. Entertainment. Yeah. Business people. Absolutely. Look, I know some of you. Some of you. Somebody works for something. They could hire us and pay us seventy five thousand dollars <laughs> to we, make a thirty I love second you just this, like, specific commercial number. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> I want seventy. I'm look. That's my baseline. I just want seventy five thousand dollars, people. Somebody give me seventy five thousand dollars. Seventy five thousand dollars. <laughs> you don't have to go to Chatsworth. <laughs> we don't look. Oh my god. Look, there's studios everywhere. Mm-hmm. Simi Valley. I mean, I'm saying I'm, I'd, I'd like to stay a, below okay. Simi Valley. Ken Burns lives around here somewhere. <sighs> no offense to Simi Valley. What? Ken below. Burns lives around here? Yeah, I don't know why. He does? He does. Fun fact. I didn't know that. Or he did. How did Ken Burns join this conversation? Because I was thinking Ken? of really good. I was thinking of. What are you doing? Are you over, listening to? I was thinking of voiceover work and thinking that Ken Burns. He's got a studio in the woods here somewhere. Maybe. Oh, because of all of his documentaries yeah. and always needing. He's like, okay, let's say Morgan Freeman, <laughs> gorgeous voice. I mean, like truly the chef's kiss of all voiceover. And he's also like the face. He's the voice. He's everything. But give him a break, okay? And let someone else come in. <laughs> Look, I don't have to go that far. I don't have to be Morgan Freeman. I don't have Tom to be Tom Hanks. He's another one. Haven't we heard enough of him? I don't have to be the he inner can world. retire. I don't have to be the inner world guy. I just want just a. I just want a taste. I'll be a character in a fucking cartoon. Yeah. Bring me to Atlanta, Adult Swim. Right. Fly Adele and I down there. <laughs> You got two, like, seriously, you got some characters that need some voices? I did need a little prompting, uh, maybe maybe five minutes of warm-up time, okay, but I'll get better. Oh, we're going to get this down to a science. Okay. I think that that's really what we need to do, is you actually have to be ready to go uh-huh. when the mic is hot. And today... <sighs> hot, because huh, it's all hot takes. You, you got to have good takes, lots of good takes. ready to go today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Because we did a little bit. I felt the urgency. I, you we know, did a little bit last night and you were, you were, you were definitely warming into it. And we did and then some, you fucking fucked forgot to record. I fucking forgot to record. Damn it. So this, I kind of thought, oh, that's too bad. The magic's gone. The magic's gone. It, yeah, it, it, this it can't was possibly like a, be recreated. I know. You know, but you <sighs> know, it, it was recreated. And I hit it harder today, I think. You did. Yeah. You did. There was some improvising. A little bit. What what was happening? Mm-hmm. I mean, you were just getting warmed up, to be honest. Like when when I know. when I I was like, okay, time to move on. I'm gonna. I was starting to kind of hog the mic. Then I needed to just like. You were getting really good. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm really. Aww. Well, I I mean, that wow, that commercial. I, to know that I'm not alone in my quest and my. I don't want to say struggle because it's not a struggle, but doing a commercial recreation Mm -hmm. can be extremely challenging. Mm. It can be a threat to my mental health. I was nervous. I was very nervous. I'm not going to lie. I was like, because I could kind of, you know, real talk. I kind of felt like I was afraid of disappointing you because I don't know why I decided you're better at these than I am. Maybe it's just because you've taken on that role. Mm -hmm. Mm. 
But so I decided that you were the one who does commercial recreations. I was like, well, that's Lou's thing. He's talented. He's a, he's a musician. He's He's got the goods. He already knows how to bring it. I got the goods. Yeah, exactly. And uh, well, I got the enthusiasm. Yeah, well, I do too. I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I mean, it doesn't mean because you have the enthusiasm. I don't. I'm just saying that um, you said it as if I didn't. You said I have the enthusiasm, but. No, I'm just saying I'm enthusiastic. About, look, you know what? No one's. I mean, the <laughs> my thing point is, is that I was scared I of disappointing you, and I was I am afraid. An okay, I'll say this. Because you kind of looked at me like, mm, it's not quite right. You, and then you were getting really micromanagey about how I was saying uh, organic. So I did. I was starting to coach your syllables, but then, but then I just let let you go because I, I all of a sudden you needed started, to let the artist be free. Yeah, you got a little you got a little testy. You're like, what the fuck are you? You know, and you were like, what up, bitch? I'll fucking do it the way I need to do it. And you and you it's like, by and, the way, I can happened. bring it my own way. I'll bring it and, and bring it you, on. So, but I, you know what I realized when you were really doing it? What is that? You're the professional. I'm the amateur. <laughs> Aww. As far as like the real voiceover stuff goes, because you were becoming oh well, people, really, you were you oh. were. I becoming was trying people. to really inhabit girl number two versus girl number one. They were different people. What you were doing with girl number two, I was like, I was very attracted to girl number two. Well, you know who I was channeling, Samantha from Sex in the City. I was trying really hard. Oh. She was specifically who I was trying to sound like and you know what? act I kinda, like. I kind of like, you know, we talk about this a lot, that I, there's very few female characters uh -huh. that I was affected by. Yes. In that and special, humid way. Samantha, you know? Yeah. Samantha. She could bring it. I wanted her, I wanted her to do things. Mm. I was, I had wishes for her. <laughs> I did. I wanted. I knew she was. You know, she was a little unpredictable. Mm -hmm. Um. But I. I actually like. I did. She kind of looks like the kind of little girls I had crushes on when I was a little boy. She mm. kind of. She kind of looks like in a grown woman. You mean? But in a grown woman, it was right, almost so it was like bringing you back to like your childhood, as if when you were little like, and you first saw a cute girl, it was yeah, Samantha it was when like, she was younger. Yeah, yeah. it would yeah. be like. Tracy Slisher. Yes. Grown up. Where is Tracy? I don't know. Okay. Tracy, if you're listening, uh, Lou had a crush on you. He had a kid, little kid crush, not a creepy crush. You were both kids, and he had a crush it's on you. It's kind of creepy. I, I rode a bike by her house. <laughs> that's normal, by yeah. the way. Yeah, that's not creepy. <laughs> Why would that be creepy? I, I like, know. stared down my crushes as if I could bore holes through their bodies, just like... <laughs> <laughs> that's creepy you know trying to hope to run into them in the hallway change my my route so i could see them again i like i mean i like a creepy girl <laughs> god i waited so long for my creepy girl uh, so you're yeah, saying creepy. i'm creepy oh, in, a good, in a really good way <laughs> like the good creepy the best kind of creep the I am the kind best of kind of creep. <laughs> you did not share your Earth, Wind, and Fire story. I, it, Earth, Wind, and Fire <laughs> influenced me to like mess around with. Oh, this is more of a danceable thing I did in the music for the commercial. Oh, okay, but you didn't share that you just rebought the same Earth, Wind, so and Fire stupid. album we already have. So yeah, I was like, I gotta have Shining Star. Of course, who doesn't? I've My gotta God. have Shining Star. Uh, yeah, that's the end. It's the end. It's okay. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Was it getting hot in there? <laughs> it is because there's literally no ve ventilation. There's no ventilation in the room that I live in. Um, there's no, there's no air. <laughs> when those doors are closed, it gets very, it's a hot box. They hot box me, these two. <laughs> Hey. And they could. They could. <laughs> Hot box me, you two. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
just come okay. on. I'm tempted. You, you tempted? I'm tempted. Thank you everyone for listening to this this episode of Raw Impressions. Maybe we should do merch Tune that just says creep. <laughs> That's a radiohead song. Oh. You don't mess with that. You don't mess with that brand. Just saying it's also like a now an inside joke for our raw impressions people. Alright. See y'all, fellow creeps. <laughs> raw.